Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Alex, I'm here with Scotty and Sam. What's up? Hey! And we'll be running our channel, Bungalow Fields. Alright, today we're going to be playing some sharpshooter on hazard, starting off with the good old dual wheel ASPs, my personal favorite. And today is Rosh Hashanah. So, happy Jews. Uh, I've been eating honey and apples all day in the celebration, sounding off some chauffeurs. I don't actually know what that means. And, uh, you know, just chilling. Tomorrow's the day off. Gonna listen to some Jewish music and, uh, you know, just party. And speaking of holidays, Modern Warfare 3 comes out November 8th. Uh, personally, I'm not excited for the game. Modern Warfare 2 was probably the best game ever when it first came out. I'm not gonna lie. But I think the hype will not be lived up to Modern Warfare 3. I've watched videos. It looks all right. Survivor mode looks pretty cool. Uh, I do like zombies a lot, so that's gonna be a little bit of a change. Uh, in my opinion, and I'm not bagging on you guys, I'm just saying, all you people who go to the midnight release of a game, I mean, it's fun and all, it gets you involved, but I, I don't know, I wouldn't waste my time going at midnight when I can just go the next day. It's not like I'm gonna get a leg up on anybody else playing the game if I'm a couple hours earlier than them. I don't see the benefit of going at midnight. Okay, so Modern Warfare 3 Hardened Edition. Cost $100. Pros and cons. I'd say pros, you get $10 off of the Elite feature, which supposedly doesn't give any players um, advantages that the players that don't have it uh, can have. But I, I pre-ordered it personally. I thought it was a good deal, $10 off. I'm kind of cheap. So yeah, however, I can only find one con with the game. Uh, well, this is stupid, but I like it personally. I like getting collectibles if I'm gonna spend the extra money. Like, I pre-ordered the hardened edition of Black Ops. I got the cheap little metal. I know it's not much, but I, I enjoy it. Oh, and I, I have one more pro that I'm hoping will happen. Maybe, just maybe, we can get a exclusive beta for the next game. I know this is not gonna happen, but, I mean, we can dream, right? I mean, I'm just hoping that it's like what they did for Medal of Honor, where the people who pre-ordered got the Battlefield 3 um, beta before everybody else. Alright, as you all know, we share this channel, uh, the three of us, and I've been talking for a while now. Uh, so, here's my boy, Alex. Alright, so normally we don't do this. You probably won't see all of us three in a video at once. Usually we just have our own videos commentating by ourselves. Uh, so usually you, you won't see us together unless it's like a special occasion, like a, like today. I wanted to talk about the significant downhill drop this game's taken since the release. Um, I grew up in the days of Modern Warfare 2, and I honestly thought it was a really good game. And when they announced that Black Ops was coming out, I was expecting this game to live up to its to all the potential that Modern Warfare 2 had. And in the first weeks, I'm not going to lie, I love this game. When you get a new game, it's like that feeling of you never want to let it go. It is a really good game. But as the weeks went by, it slowly started to drop. And, and it's mostly not even the game. It's the people in the game that made it a bad experience. Like, when you have someone sitting in a corner on jungle with, like, AK-74 noob tubes, wh why, where, what skill does that show? Like, how, how in your mind does that make the game fun? And honestly, I, I know that noob tubing was a lot bigger issue in, in Modern Warfare 2, but you could get by it. Like, it wasn't a big deal. You had so much more fun. The fun effect, like, offset all that noob tubing crap. This game is just, like when I go to play it, I always end up with a bad experience and, and a bad taste left in my mouth and it's not, and it's, it's just, it's very upsetting. But on a lighter note, I am happy about a couple features they're bringing back in Modern Warfare 3, like, like theater mode, I'm currently screwing around with that right now, but I think theater mode gave you a lot more opportunities than it did in Modern Warfare 2, like if you had an awesome, an awesome clip, awesome montage clip, snipe feed, whatever, that you, that you wanted to share. You couldn't really share it unless you had a capture card or a PBR or whatever, but uh, in Black Ops, you didn't need that. And I thought there was a really cool feature that they added. I'm also happy that they're bringing back Gun Game and One in the Chamber for Modern Warfare 3. 
but it adds a less competitive feature because there's no more COD points. I think it's a really fun game, but once it's once you start getting into high roller and all that stuff, it gets really competitive, and that's one of the things that also made this game really aggravating sometimes. So when you lose thirty thousand COD points to, to people like my friend Sam who run around knifing you. I'm also really happy that Quick Scoping will be back. Uh, I love Quick Scoping Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I was really disappointed that Treyarch told us there wouldn't be any Quick Scoping in Black Ops, but you know people found a way, and it still was semi there. But it wasn't as good as Modern Warfare 2, and you know Treyarch kind of kind of failed at that. But I'm glad Activision's making this, and they don't they condone Quick Scoping, and it's it's not something they're frowned upon. So I'm really glad that that's gonna be back. All right, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And... Yeah!